As I leave the temple of Neem Karoli Baba, thank you for your blessing, Baba. I cross a small wooden foot ridge across a creek outside his temple, and I see that guru has no more trips to do. He just is, and everything happens harmoniously, appropriately. Uh, and as I cross this wooden footbridge, I realize that at 24 years old, I too am an old man. And that I could sit down right here, anywhere, for the rest of my life. Yet somehow I see my whole life. that I shall act it out. <laughs> and I guess that's what it means to be a young man. Lost in the Orient. <laughs> what deliverance. Oh, what well, good luck. You know, my head should trip seems so cool up at Ram Dass's new, new new age place. Oh, yeah. But um, will my earth people vision stand and deliver in the lonely, evil-plagued, unhealthy world of my uh, below? Find myself alone, headed for the endless plains of India. Sunset. I arrive in nearby Nanital, a British hill station retreat, embracing a beautiful mountain lake, about a half hour's uh, bus ride from the Guru's place. Mm -hmm. And uh, I impersonate a Tibetan snow leopard and slip into the village quietly. Mm -hmm. Less Indian immigration, please. Sniff my statelessness, passportlessness, human beingness. Sniff, 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 huh? I'm on the run in India. That's my new trip. <laughs> More nourishing than wallowing in the Western money pit bottomless abyss of greed and uh, more spiritual than wallowing in hypocritical spiritual shit gobbledygook hmm. Hmm. in the morning hmm. wake up flea bag hotel from <laughs> cold Ooh. I'm freezing up here in the Himalayas. Windows frosted over. High Himalayas. Pre Don Mouch enshrouds the lake. Spanish moss dripping from twisted oak tree limbs, barren of leaves. Well, I roll up my blanket and um, slip my Indian shoulder bag on. That's all I, I own or want to have anyway, for sure. Um, so I walk to the Nani Tal uh, a chai shop and enjoy a warm chai, just having it in my hands. <laughs> Feels so warming. Oh, how divine chai on a misty monsoon mountain morning. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I get in the front seat of a group cab, common system in Asia. You, they wait till a car fills up and then off they go, I'm hanging out, smoke a joint in the cab. And, whoops, better roll up the window as the uh, policeman gives me a curious glance. Uh oh, what? Oh, look at those young, wealthy, nanny tall boys. Adolescents with their expensive mountain jackets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, seven James Bond belt buckles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, 
taxi descends, switch backs down lower and lower to the Haldwani train station where the flatlands of India meet the Himalayas right there. And so there's a train. It's in the train system. I'm nauseous <laughs> from this motion sickness. <sighs> Collapse in a third class waiting room. Mm -hmm. Catch a nap. <sighs> wow. Yeah. When I wake up, my eyes blur into focus on a bigger boy. Maybe 12. No legs. He's got a skeletal mangy dog for his best friend. And he ass hops over and looks up at me like uh, I could use some food. Mm. Well, I'm drinking a chai, so uh, I pour half a cup of chai into the saucer and hand it down to the legless boy. Take care of yourself, man. Yeah, I rub, roll a hashish joint and rub my hands to my eyes. Is this an illusion? I mean, I'm puzzled because Tukche Rinpoche at the Tibetan Monastery, I asked the Lama if the whole planet just, shh, let's do it all at once and get it over with, could be translated into a higher dimension for everybody <laughs> at once. The High Lama said, uh, Earth is already nirvana. Perfect. Realize your nirvana, then through your eyes, all is beautiful. Hmm. Ideal? Hmm. Uh, stiffly, I rise from my concrete station platform. Matches? And I blow my nose with my fingers and <laughs> third class sit flies out. Yeah. I step out into the bustle of Haldwani. Wow. What a chaotic, crowded village this is.